Hey guys, Brent Abel here, Web Tennis, and I've got a quick tip here for you in singles. And this is where you are serving and staying back. And what I see way too often, and one of the things that I have to sort of train in my own game when I serve and stay back, is um, let's say that we're the server, and uh, you know we go ahead and serve, and the return comes back, it's not short. It's not something we can approach on, you know, and really kind of wherever it lands, let's call it this area of the court here, the returner then moves back to the middle. You know, one of the things that, that I want you to work on is that f until you really get a short ball that you can approach on, um, is work the middle of the court, you know, work, work this area right around in here. Um, rather than thinking that every time you play a ground stroke, even if it's cross court that you got to go to a corner, or if you get a backhand over here that you got to go to a corner, you know, if you're right-handed player, what I want you to do for a while is think about working this part of the court here, right back down the middle and right at that opponent. So really what you're doing is you're forcing your opponent to get out of the way of the ball to be able to get a clean hit on it. And, you know, what I see that happens too, too often is, you know, we go for a corner and it doesn't really get into the corner where it extends uh, the opponent out wide. It just kind of, it sort of drifts sort of more in the middle. And I'm telling you, it's so much easier for your opponent to move side to side to get the right spacing for your incoming shot as opposed to if you play a ball right up the middle. So, you know, this is this is pretty obvious stuff, but I just don't think that we practice it enough. I don't think that we deploy it enough in our matches. So really what I want you to try to do this week is thinking about every time you get a ground stroke where you can't approach, just for this week, I want you to take it forehand or backhand and just drive it right back up the middle and force this player to move their feet and get out of the way. And I'm telling you, you're going to get so many more short balls out of that than if you try to go to the corner. You know, and yeah, I mean, if you really, you know, crank one to a corner where you get this player stretched out, yeah, then, you know, certainly you're going to get a short ball off of that. But I think you get the idea here. So for this week, what I want you to do, get out there and play these ground strokes right back up the middle. And I guarantee you, you're going to get a lot more shorter balls that way than if you try going off to the corners. All right, let me know. Feedback, comments, questions. You know, what does this tip bring up for you? Right below the video. Looking forward to helping you. Have a great day out there today.